Last year's pups were badly affected by the storms that battered Britain. At Horsey Gap in Norfolk, 263 were sadly washed away before they were ready to leave. But when the pups are injured or abandoned, sometimes the lucky ones are rescued by Britain's army of volunteers. Back in July, I went to Cornwall to assist a team from the Cornish Seal Sanctuary. I've got an extraordinary picture here of a team of marine heroes rescuing an injured grey seal pup from the stormy Cornish coastline. I'm here today to find out more about this pup's story and what's happened since this photograph was taken. Every year, over 300 in distress seals are rescued across the UK coastline by teams often made up of volunteers. One of the rescue team who helped the injured seal in the bag is Dan Jarvis from the Cornish Seal Sanctuary. What's your role in this rescue? On um, this particular day, we had a call about uh, one of uh, the pups down on the beach near Land's End. So uh, myself and a couple of other guys from British Divers Marine Life Rescue went down to have a look and see what the situation was. And the seal in this particular bag is now in this pool just behind me here. He's right behind us. He's called Bruce Wayne. Uh, we have a theme for our pups' names every year, which is superheroes for this season. So we've got Bruce Wayne and we also have Lois Lane in here. But Bruce here, he originally was rescued with a broken jaw. Um, that was actually back in October. He spent a few months with us here at the sanctuary. Our vet did an amazing job wiring up his jaw and putting him back together again. And he was actually released out to the wild back in January, but unfortunately, Back in May, at the beginning of May, he ran into trouble again. He'd uh, had a bit of a knock to the head and unfortunately he'd got uh, an infection, we think uh, a case of septicemia. So he came back in for round two of rehabilitation. He's right as rain again now, but uh, today's the day he can go back out to sea again. I'll be helping Dan release the seals back to the sea later on in the day. But in the meantime, we need to prepare the pup's final breakfast at the sanctuary. Well, because we're going to release them later today, we're going to give them a really minimal amount of fish, so about five or six fish at the most, really. Uh, so hopefully that means later on when we release them, they're not just going to sit there on the beach digesting their fish quite happily. They'll actually want to go out in the water because they'll still be hungry and go and find something to eat for themselves. And that's about right. There we go. So we've got a few fish here for them now, but we need to hide from them because we don't want them to associate humans as a food source. So all you need to do is just grab your fish, yep. and as long as it doesn't go in the other pools, it's fine. <laughs> so you can just throw it straight over, and it's for them to sort themselves out now. And you can hear them go for it. You can, yeah, yeah. They're really good at competing there, so this is the important part for them. The time has come for the seals to return home, and the team need to move quickly to keep the pups as calm and unstressed as possible. So this one's Lois. Bruce is in already. He's looking fine out there on the trailer. They're big animals, although they're only pups, about nine months old. Go on, Lois, in you go. This is going to be a really quick move. They're bringing up the back of the trailer, and that's Bruce and Lois, both safely in the back of the truck there. The release site is just a 10-minute drive away, keeping the seal's time in the trailer to a minimum. Once at the beach, it's all hands on deck. Been given the responsibility of a yeah, herd board. Side, OK, here yeah, we go. Yeah. There you go, Bruce. Off he goes. <laughs> Heading straight back into the He knows sea. what to do, for sure. <gasps> He really does. <laughs> Into the surf. Look at him go. Hopefully he's just shown Lois what to do. Here she comes now. She's having a little think That's about it. it. She's having Good a sniff. Girl, Lois. There you well go. Done. And straight again back towards the wash. So is that it for these two now, Dan, or can we keep track of them? Yeah, all of the seals that we release have a tag on one of their rear flippers. So it means that when they're out there, out in the wild now, if anyone ever spots them, they can report them back to us, or even better, if they get photos. You know, the most important thing for us to know that what we're doing is being successful, and this is the best way that we can do it, and we have one of the most successful track records in Europe. I really hope you get some information back on these two, because it's, it's been so special to join you on the beach. <laughs> Wonderful Cornish weather as they go off into the sea. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you so you. much.